Hey Cal fans, you're watching Cal TV Sports Behind the Hype season finale. That means it's the last time you're going to be seeing me here afternoon tea with Brandon Lee. My last guest is Elle Woods, and no, not the Harvard grad in Legally Blonde. She's Elle Woods from our own California women's rowing team. Things up. All right, Elle, thank you so much for joining me today and being my last guest here on Cal TV Sports. So can you tell us what a typical day looks like for you and the team? Because I know you all have to wake up really early before sunrise. Yeah, so a typical day is waking up at 545, getting picked up at 6 in the team vans. We have teammates drive the vans to um, either the estuary on the Oakland Estuary or Granny's Reservoir in Arinda. And then, you know, we'll practice anywhere from 16 to 22K. We get back to campus around 9.30 and that's when we can have our first class of the day. Wow, I'm so <laughs> happy that you could squeeze some time for to sit down and talk with us today. Oh, of course. <laughs> it's a pleasure. You train usually in Orinda or Oakland. Yeah. Where are the team matches or regattas? We're usually, we're up in Sacramento a lot because that's where Lake Natoma is and it's a pretty big venue for uh, regattas for junior level and collegiate level um, throughout the year. And then we also race in Redwood Shores a lot. That's kind of our home course. When we race duels um, with Washington or whoever, like that's our home because we can't race on either of our practice, um, on either of the bodies of water we practice on because there's no like actual race course. So, yeah. If anything, be sure to follow the updates on Twitter at CalWRowing. So the team just won the Simpson Cup for the fifth year in a row. What would you say contributed to your team success? So everyone kind of experiences the team differently. It's such a big team. There's 60 something girls, um, which is, I think it's one of the biggest rosters on campus. And so obviously there's kind of like different tiers of the team. There's the, you know, girls who are gonna race at NCAAs or the girls who are kind of like in the middle fighting for a seat. And then the girls like towards the bottom, like the walk-ons and everything. But I'd say like within each tier, they're really strong leaders. And that's something that's really unique about our team is everyone is so strong because it's such a prestigious team to be on and everyone wants to be there and give 110. Great. Yeah. Brilliant actually. I uh, didn't know that team was 60 girls you said? Yeah, so I think we have like 65 some girls. Nine or so of them are coxswains and so like 55 rowers and then the rest are coxswains, but yeah. That's still a lot because like there's eight mm -hmm. people on one boat. Yeah. Yeah. And even with whatever it is, 11 workouts a week, girls still go beyond that and we'll do like an hour of spinning before weights and go on runs on Sundays and we're just all crazy and super competitive and I think that's kind of like what um, helps us stand out among the field. The trophies help too. Yeah, trophies <laughs> help too. Every, um, sorry I'm going on, but at the reservoir, the little pebble gravel on the ground and we get our trophies like our Pac-12 trophy or our Simpson Cup trophy and like girls will put a rock in the trophy for like a girl who's been like killing it that week and that also builds a lot of team, uh, dynamic. team dynamic and everyone's so support like a girl at the absolute top like number one on the team will notice some girl at the you know at the bottom doing like working extra hard or like doing super well in school and everyone is so supportive of each other it's very cohesive. Great yeah I think it's important to have that team support too. Mm -hmm. It's more about you. I know you're a sophomore. What are you studying? So I just recently declared public health. Congratulations. So that, you know, thank you. That was exciting and I'm hoping to minor in global poverty and practice. I'm interning in Cape Town this summer doing social work and youth development so that'll be cool. Is law school at Harvard in the picture? Ms. You know, I, yeah, that was in the back of my mind. You know, if rowing wasn't going to work out, I was going to take the LSAT maybe you know, head on over to Cambridge, but you know, anything's possible. We'll see. Thank you so much. Uh, so but before fun. we go, I usually row at the RSF, so I'm gonna challenge you right now. Oh man, okay. To do this. Hope I'm ready for it. All right. Ready? You ready? Uh -huh. One, two, three. Ready? Oh, 
Hey, Cal fans. As you can tell, I'm getting too old for this stuff. For the very last time, thank you for joining me on these afternoon teas with Brandon Lee. Let me introduce you to my successor. So now, it's afternoon tea with Brooke Lasowski. <laughs> Pinkies up. up. Go, Go Bears! Bears.